Sometimes I was very pleased when on Friday night she would take it all off, put a little bit of mascara on, put a little bit of something on and her blonde hair underneath and her lovely eyebrows were there. I was like, oh, thank God, you look nice. <laughs> My name is Ivana Premarak, and I was personal hair and makeup artist to Kate Winslet, who played Mayor of Easttown. If you've got something you want to tell me, you better do it now, because I'm going to start digging through your life, and I'm going to find out everything. And if you're lying to me, it's going to be very bad for you. The first time I heard of a Mayor of Easttown was actually from Kate Winslet herself. Kate called me all very excited and said, I've just read something incredible, unlike anything else I've ever done. And she only does really interesting, good stuff. And she, and she has very good taste. And I thought, well, that sounds really interesting because she's always really good at that. And I thought, well, how good can it be? So I read the first six and I was absolutely, completely blown away. I don't think I ever read uh, writing that was that good. The plot that was so clear, but so complicated and so uh, intriguing. And I happen to know that part of the world because I've filmed in Philadelphia before and I have been to Philadelphia. So I know a little bit more than maybe most people, certainly from the UK about that part of the world. And it was just incredibly interesting to me how true to life and the local problems and how interesting that story was. That was how I heard first off about the whole project. And then the hard work began, really. Can I ask if you're seeing anyone now just to talk? It's been my experience that it helps parents who've lost children. No, no, I never. Um... Sometimes you get descriptions of characters like long blonde hair or there was descriptions of her state of mind. There were descriptions of her uh, being tired. There were descriptions of her through emotion rather than through the way she looks. And it was obvious, obvious that it was gonna have to be someone who is a real person. It has to be someone who lives in the community. But what's really difficult about that is that then there's no limitations. Then you have to think about well, what, what do we do? How do we make her someone that we're all gonna fall in love with? And you want to follow her story. At the same time, she has to be this real person who lives in that part of the world. I, I completely had to rely on Kate's instincts. And I think that was quite interesting because everything was generated by her, really, I have to say. And she did have some ideas and she did have a thought that, you know, she didn't want to look glamorous in any way. She didn't want to look put together in any way. She wanted to look completely real. She wanted to look like any busy mother. And now we know her history from seeing the show. A person who has been through something like what she's been through, but also she's a detective. She's a working woman. I'm a detective. A detective? You don't have any bodies hidden under your porch, do you? Uh, not yet, no. Kate had this idea that a busy woman who, you know, when she was young and if she was of a certain age and she's a blonde, if you start off as a blonde, if she's, say, this person, what happens seven months or eight months after your child is not here anymore? What happens then? And I was like, she doesn't do her hair anymore. And I just thought, wouldn't it be amazing if it's exactly seven months and women will know how many months you know it takes for the roots to get to about here. And also I thought what was really good about that is that you can have a bit of blonde hair next to you, like when you go out for a date when it's loose. And when it's all pulled back, you get mostly dark hair next to your face. So actually design wise, I thought it was a very good idea. But what grabbed me is this idea that Kate had that the tragedy of what happens to her is really the fact that she can't really keep up. She can barely function in the world, and that is the last thing she's going to do, is do her hair. You're pushing everyone away. Including you? No, I won't let you. I was a little bit frightened because we are all always drawn to making the best out of the, you know, the, the actors that we work with. And this time around, we were going for the reality so that people feel what we felt when we read the screenplay how upsetting it all is for her, how awful every day is for her. So yes, I was very really thrilled to see, you know, and read how Roots, you know, got the huge amount of press. But also what we did 
another idea that I had, I have to say, is because Kate is so naturally pleasing to the eye. You know, she's a beautiful woman. And one other thing I thought I, I wanted to add is unplucked eyebrows, because her eyebrows are so perfect. So we made this unplucked eyebrows that we stuck on every day. So with a bit of root, no makeup, and um, stuck on eyebrows, um, emerged mare. Everybody, put your gloves on, do a grid search. Mark, anything seems out of place, so we can photograph it. I think what I'm proud of is that we managed to complete the show. It was long, over a whole year. What was difficult was, you know, the changes, the water, the, you know, all that water sequence and everything. It was a very difficult show from day to day. The locations were not glamorous. We didn't have, you know, glamorous green rooms because it was all real. Kate doesn't have a trailer on set because she's also a producer. So she's right there next to the monitors all day. There's no fixing anything. If anything fell apart, she would not be able to sustain, you know, she had to be the way she left in the morning. She had to be like that till, the, till that night. So to sustain all of that, I had to learn how to do it to perfection. So nothing ever came apart. Nothing ever was out of place. And then it looks like there's just a woman with her hair in a ponytail, which I'm very, very proud of because it's just not, it doesn't look like there's anything to it. And there was a whole load to it. You know, it, it took us an hour every morning, Kate putting on her makeup, me doing her hair, me finishing it off with her, sticking on the eyebrows. Somewhere in some dark basement or in the street next to a heater through a night shoot in some old petrol station somewhere. It was never a trailer. It was never, never anything else. So I'm very, very proud of that. But I have to say, I've never seen anyone look harder than her. So it was pretty easy for me. <laughs>